hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for all you do for this channel god bless you really appreciate your support we do not take you for granted you guys are simply the best i will pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. Igbos will lose more if Nigeria breaks up. Rochas Okorocha. This one is quite shocking. Rochas Okorocha, former governor of Imo State and the senator representing Imo West Senatorial District, has um, just put this out there, cautioning um, the Southeast um, uh, against the agitation for Nigerians' breakup. It's no news that... Um, We've got um, two major agitations right now, the Oduduwa Nation and the Biafra uh, 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 Nation as well. Rocha Sokorocha is stating that Igbos are the ones that will lose more. This is really interesting. It's surprising. I'm sure they, they would have checked all of that to know uh, what are the, the pros and the cons for calling for a breakup. Rocha Sokorocha is reminding them and has put out um, some warning out there. All of this, I don't know if it's just to deter or just to push the, the the people back because we know that these agitation uh, agitators they've suffered a lot of uh, setbacks a lot of uh, betrayal a lot of um uh, even division in-house within themselves um, Igbos among them have um spoken against them southeast leaders have disassociated themselves from this call for a separation that they don't want to be separated they want to remain one nigeria one nation you know, even at the time, um, the governor of uh, a boy state called out um, to these agitators, IPOP members, that you know what, bring forth your grievances. Let's know what um, your concerns are. Give us six months, we'll present it to the federal government and even his colleagues, the other governors, and um, they will see what can be done. That uh, all, all of that is just uh, to... to maybe make them give up the call for this um, agitation to make them drop the agitation but we know with all of that it has not stopped them even the attack from the federal government the use of military the use of force the attack on ipod members uh even esn the eastern security network all of that has still not stopped them so rocha sokorocha is the one speaking right now we'll bring you all of the details why he has stated this he should have a reason for stating this, that Igbo will be the ones to lose more. That is the way he's put it, that Igbos will lose more if Nigeria breaks up. So that means if Nigeria goes their separate way, the North goes their way, um, um, Biafra goes their way, and um, Oduduwa Nation. Because the way it is now, right now, if any um, nation happens to uh, uh, break out, if it's IPOP that breaks out first, that is um, Biafra. We know very well that um, Oduduwa Nation is certainly going to happen. So he's stating that if this ever happens, that the Eagles are the ones that would lose. Well, we'll find that in a bit. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Rocha Sokorocha, the senator representing Imo West, has cautioned the Southeast against the agitations for Nigeria's breakup. Okorocha warned that Igbos would be worst hit if Nigeria breaks up. The former Imo State Governor spoke in Abuja while addressing some women groups yesterday. Okorocha stressed that the South East should push towards fixing the country and not its disintegration. The lawmakers stressed that Igbos are nationalistic in nature, hence they should dismiss the urge for Nigerians' disintegration. He said, it is only an Igbo man that goes to a place and remains put in that place, buys a land and builds a house for his family without feeling insecure. The Igbos will lose more if Nigeria divides. Most Nigerian leaders who were successful had one thing or the other to do with the Igbos. It is either they married Igbo women or had some links with them. I can call names like former President Obasanjo, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, Buba Mawa, and to name a few, Southeast group, like the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and the movement for the actualization of sovereignty state of Biafra, MASOB, have been agitating for the disintegration of Nigeria. 
IPOB led by Enam Decano has been in the forefront calling for Biafra's actualization. So, uh, <laughs> um, Okorocha, his own argument right now is that, and the reason why he thinks that um, Igbos will be the ones who will lose more if Nigeria breaks up will be that um, that if an Igbo man arrives in any way, any part of the country, you know, Igbos, they, 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 they are people, when they get into business, they do well. They become prosperous because they do business very well. You know, that common saying, there's a common saying that says that um, this, uh, uh, when the Bible was talking about uh, the three wise men that came to uh, greet Jesus when he was born, it talked about the, the three wise men coming from the East. And that has been liking that evil people, people from the Southeast, they are very wise. They know how to do business. They know how to um, recognize opportunity. So that is something with them. And so when they go to any parts of the country, they, they settle down. That they, the next thing you see that they build houses, they tend to make their families comfortable. They set up structures. So now Rocha Sokorocha is stating that if an Igbo man has moved to the north, built his empire there and was saying that um, the country should divide that what is going to happen that is the perspective is looking at all of this from not only that he believes that um, Igbos they have some sort of ties with um, other parts of the country that uh, we can see that uh, former leaders former politicians they've uh, married from the east he made mention of a few names former president Olusegun Obasanjo Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, he made mention of another one, Buba Marawa, and he didn't want to mention the rest. So he's stating that these guys already have ties. So what's going to be happening? That Igbos will not be the ones to lose at the end of the day. But I do believe that um, uh, they, they have weighed the options. They've weighed all of the options uh, and they know what they want. That is why they are pushing on. So let them decide for themselves. However, we know Rocha Sogorocha is still from the East. He's an Igbo man as well. Although with this statement, it's very obvious right now that he's not in support of Nigerians' breakup. So we already know the divide where he belongs. So um, he's part of the um, Southeast governors who are kicking against Nigerians' breakup, that Nigeria should not break. And this, he's put it out there in his own way that this is the reason that Igbos will be the ones to lose more. Well, um, normally after any statement like this, we know that... Uh, a response will come either from um, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, um, that's Nam De Kano. He will put out a response out there. But guys, let's say your own thoughts. If you truly believe that um, Igbos are the ones that will lose more, thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So, like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.